Okay, so we're back and as promised, we're going to be having a look at NVIDIA's RTX A2000 graphics card. Can't wait for this. It's been a while. I got delayed on delivery, but it's here now and we're going to go and check out. We're going to go and see how it does mining Ethereum. So let's go and have a wee look at the card before we go and see the mining. Come on. With all these A-series cards, it's got an open back plate. And there you go. You can see it's a low profile design. Okay, so let's, let's compare this with a 3090. You can see the size difference. 3090. <laughs> you can see it's a much smaller card. A much, much smaller card. The one thing I'd like to say before we move on is you'll notice, see this card? It has no power uh, connector on the card. So you're going to be asking, how does it, how does it get power? And um, the answer is, it gets its power via the PCIe lane right here. Oh. PCIe lane here in, in the gold. Uh, and from what I gather, PCIe can take up to 75 watts. You can power some a device. Uh, up to 75 watts. I know you can unlock it and power it. I uh, have a higher uh, power draw of the PCIe lane, but that's what's recommended on on a standard PCIe lane. And in my mining rig, this is going to be powered off just a riser. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it will go well. And uh, yeah, let's go and see how it performs in the mining software. Come on, let's go. Okay, so you can see over here, we have the A2000 in this rig. I've also got an A4000 and an A5000 in this rig, just for a bit of comparison. A4000, you can see it's doing 41.58 mega hash at, what is it, 69 watts. So, damn, this thing is efficient. And as you've probably seen from, I think it's Dizzy Mining, he showed that you can even like chop a wee bit more power off, and I think he got... Uh, I think you got 41 mega hash for 66 watts, which is even more efficient, which is, to be honest, this thing is incredibly efficient. And you can see here, it's in a minute in this system, it's got 86 uh, degrees memory temperature. In this setup here, I'm actually, you can see I'm underclocking the A4000. And I'm just doing that because I'm trying to keep on this card, particularly I'm trying to keep the temperature down so it doesn't go too high. Um, you can see I've, I've got on 95% fan as well on the, the A2000 and the A4000. So, yeah, so this card is great. It's got very, very good efficiency. Um, and you can see, like, it's obviously got a better efficiency than these other two cards. Don't get me wrong, you can boost the A5000 up a good bit, but still, it's got fantastic efficiency. Okay, so I was just having a wee look over uh, the different kind of comparable cards and we have the A2000, RX 6600, RX 6600 XT, well, wow, bit of a mouthful. <laughs> uh, so I went and had a wee look over some websites and this is the price I bought my A2000 for and you can see that's British Pound Sterling, you have your USD amount here and then I don't actually own any of these cards here, but I went and had a quick look and just just to see kind of average slash like a rough price price guide for these cards. And um, you can see uh, it's very it's between the two cards really here. So and you can see I've put down the hash rates, which I think you can get for. Uh, I, like I said, I don't own these, so I'm not 100% sure, but just from a wee bit of research, this is this is what you can get at this type of power draw. So you can see the A2000 is actually getting better efficiency there, and also it, it's for a fairly good price in today's current market, 28th of October 2021. So yeah, the A2000, if you can get it at MSRP, is actually looking like quite a decent card, and you're getting a very good hash rate there for... Uh, for the money, I would say. So yeah, I would I would recommend this card if you could possibly get it at MSRP. Okay, so that's all from today's video. And as you saw there, the RTX A2000 is an incredibly efficient graphics card. I love this graphics card. I love how small it is. Okay, so I've been mining on the A2000 now for a couple of days and I wanted to give you a wee update in terms of the noise of the graphics card because it's just a wee thing that I've noticed. 
And basically I noticed that the card I have, which I've been mining on, if you had to compare it to the A4000 and the A5000 cards, I would say the noise that it makes is a higher pitch noise. Uh, the A4000 and A5000, they make like a kind of whooshing noise, kind of passing air noise, and this A2000 is similar, but it's higher pitch. I thought it was just good to note this and to put it in the video as uh, some people, you know, they mine in different environments and maybe noise is a factor for them. I don't know, but I thought it would be good to mention and put it in here. Um, and like I said, maybe it's just my card, but this is my experience. So yeah, take 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 what you want from it. Um, and yeah, cheers. <laughs> and would I buy more? I think, yeah, I think I'd possibly buy more. I need to see, I need to see what price I can get them at. But uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this, please smash that subscribe button. There's going to be much more coming. And I just wanted to say, have a fantastic day, everybody. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.